Welcome to the Top Listing Agent Show, the place to be to stay on the cutting edge of what it takes to sell more homes in less time. Each week, your host, Shadi Bazzi, will share with you the best skill sets, systems, and strategies so you can become a top listing agent. And now, let the show begin. Hey there, Shadi Bazzi here, and welcome to another episode, the first episode of 2018 in the Top Listing Agent Show. We are back, we are excited, and I wanna begin by saying, Happy New Year. May 2018 bless you with all the abundance that your heart desires. So today, we're gonna talk about what I feel is the most important conversation to be having with you to help you kickstart your 2018 and put in place one of the most strategic habits that I want you to put in place that will activate two specific irrefutable laws for you that will, in essence, turn you into a business magnet, okay? So instead of being the kind of person who's always having to chase the business, eventually, sooner than later, becoming the kind of person who is continuously attracting the business, okay? So we're gonna talk about two laws, okay? But before we talk about the two laws, let me give you the steps and then the laws will show up on their own as part of the strategy, okay? And remember, this year I want you to be thinking not just in terms of all the actions that you are taking that are gonna produce a result, I want you to think a little bit differently. I want you to think about strategic action because a lot of action a lot of movement doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna move from point A to point B to point C. You may end up moving from A to B and eventually to, Z, to, to C. But what we wanna do is we wanna move from point A, which is the starting point, to point Z, which is you actually achieving your goal, okay? And the strategy behind the action is exactly what not only gonna get you to the Z, but it's gonna get you to the Z much, much, much quicker. And that's what I want for you. Not only just fast results, I want profitable results for you. I want repeatable results for you. I want you to do all the hard work once. I want you to lay down the right foundation. I want you to identify the right strategy. I want you to continuously and consistently and persistently apply the strategy to be able to blow your business up to a whole new level. Let this year be the year that you achieve everything that your heart desires. So, it's the beginning of 2018. I want you to think back to just about 30 days ago, okay? 30 days ago, maybe 20 days ago, etc. there's a trend that begins to happen every year in December. And that trend is you begin to receive a countless number of emails from people that you either subscribe to their newsletters, subscribe to their services, and or people in your life in general that begin to email you. And the theme of the email is consistent. And the theme of the email is happy holiday, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Think, did you receive such emails in the month of December in the beginning part of 2018? Think about it. The answer is of course, yes. How many of those emails did you get? I don't know, 10, 15, 20, depending on your sphere and your influence, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50. What happens after you get the first few? What do you begin to do? Delete, 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 delete. So I'm not gonna say that these emails are meaningless. I'm gonna say they're not the most effective use of strategy to be in touch with people. See, if that's what everybody is doing, that doesn't necessarily mean that's what you should be doing. See, your job, your strategy is to appear different, 
It's to be different. It's to give of yourself a different feeling, a different perception. And you do that by using a different strategy, different than what everybody else is doing. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the lost art in the sales industry. The lost art. What is that lost art? I'm talking about the human connection. I'm talking about the human relationship. The human contributing element. That's what I'm talking about. If everybody else is sending an email and everybody's clicking delete, 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 and you pick up the phone and you have a meaningful conversation, with the person who's receiving all that emails. Are they gonna remember the emails or are they gonna remember the conversation? They are going to remember the conversation. And you're probably thinking to yourself right now, well, Shady, I don't know what to say. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say. And not only am I gonna tell you what to say, I'm gonna remind you that you already know exactly what to say. You just haven't given it enough value and thought to actually get yourself to say it. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to, this week, first week of January, depending on when you're listening to this, watching this video, maybe second week of January, I want you to get through this as fast as possible. I don't want you to procrastinate. I don't want you to put this off. I want you to take immediate action. Talking about immediate action, I did a training yesterday for a Remax office in Rancho Cucamonga here in California. And a gentleman said, I heard you talk about this. You know, and I stayed up all night and I took notes on, on this conversation, pretty much the same conversation I'm gonna have with you right now. And the next day he implemented it and pretty much he got like a listing appointment, a preview appointment and another lead. So that's like three quick results as a result of taking action on what I'm about to share with you right now. So for you, it could be more results than what, you know, Christian did. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to Pick up your phone, and I want you to begin calling your database. Calling your database. It's easier to call the people that know you, like you, trust you, have done business with you, than it is to call a for sale by owner and expire the cold call, etc. So let's begin with what's easy to do to get you in action so we can create that daily action movement that you should be doing every single day. And I want you to call your database in the following order, okay? The first group of people that I want you to call, and I'm gonna tell you what to say in, in a few moments, okay? And then I'll tell you the two laws that we're activating that are gonna just abundantly attract new business to you with very little effort. The first group of people I want you to call is every single person that actually resulted in a closed transaction with you in 2017. For you, it could be five, it could be 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. It could be 100 people. I had a guy in, in the office meeting yesterday that did 103 transactions in 2017. So, you know, that 103 people is the first group of people that he should be calling and is going to be calling this week. So I don't know what your number is, but I want you to begin by calling every single person that did a transaction with you in 2017. So make a list of those people and we're gonna begin by calling those people. We'll get to the conversation in a few moments. The second group of people that I want you to call is every single person that actually gave you a referral in 2017 that resulted in a transaction or did not result in a transaction. It doesn't matter. They still put in the effort to push business your way. And we gotta appreciate that we got to appreciate them. We got to make them feel appreciated so they can continue to have that trust in us to continue to send us referrals in 2018 and beyond. So what are we thinking about here? We're thinking lifetime value. We're not just thinking a one-time wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of conversation. The third group of people that I want you to call is all the other people that actually did a transaction with you regardless when, whether that's two years ago, three years ago, 10 years ago, depending on how long you're in a business, every single person that ever did a transaction with you. Why are we following this order? Because many of you guys have a database the size of 100 to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. It's a lot of people to get through. And I don't want you to get through the most people, uh, the most important people randomly. I want you to get through these people on purpose. 
Okay, not by default on purpose. So we're beginning with the highest quality and working our way back. So group number one, the people who did a transaction with you in 2017. Group two, the people who sent you a referral in 2017. Group three is everyone else that's ever done a transaction with you. Group four is everyone else in your database. Everyone else in your database. So we're gonna call these people. Now, let's talk about the conversation that we're gonna be having with these people. So I'll begin by saying, I don't want this conversation to be a business related conversation. I don't want it to be a business related conversation. I want you to think a little bit differently. The strategy is I want this to be a value added relationship building, moving forward conversation. Because as you build a relationship, what happens to the relationship? It gets stronger. It gets tighter. We have a deeper level of rapport. There's a deeper level of trust. There's a deep, deeper level of connection. And then what happens as a result of that, there's no resistance. The call is more of a welcoming call versus like, oh no, this guy's calling me to ask me for another referral. He's calling me to talk to me about business. We don't want that. We want people to see our number show up on their phone and say, let me get this. Or if they're doing something, hold on, let me get this real quickly. That's what we want to do. So how do we do that? We do that by setting it up to have the right conversations from the get-go. So the conversation is going to be very simple. Because it's a brand new year, we're going to begin by calling them up and say, Hey Z, it's Shaddy. How are you doing? Just wanted to give you a quick call. Wish you and your family a happy new year. Guys, is it simple to just call somebody and say, Happy New Year? Very simple. Can you do that? You don't need a script for that. Call them up and just wish them a Happy New Year. And then when you begin a conversation like that, what's their response? Well, Happy New Year to you as well. So how do you follow up with that? Hopefully you had a good holiday season. Get them to talk about something that they did during the holiday season. Now it's just a flowing conversation, like you're talking to a friend. We want people to feel as if we are their friend. And genuinely, you should be talking to them as if they are a family member or a friend, okay? So they begin to talk about their experience, about the holiday, etc. And then what I want you to do is I want you to ask the magic question that almost nobody's asking. And that question is, what are you up to in 2018? What are some of your goals for 2018? See, now, what do we got them talking about? If they're talking to us about their goals, they're opening up to us. They're talking about something that's important to them. People like to talk about what's important to them. So if I get them to talk about what's important to them, and I'm actively listening, what's happening? What do you think is happening? What kind of state are they in in that moment? Are they in a good state or a bad state? I got them in a good state. I got them in a state to where they're going to remember that conversation. So that's what we're going to do. By doing that, what we are now doing is we're activating a law. And I'll tell you what that law is in a second. Law number one. So we're asking them what is important to them. What are they up to in 2018? What are their goals in 2018? I want you to take note of that. Why do I want you to take note of that? Because you are to be calling every single person in your database at least once every quarter in 2018. And the next conversation that you're having with them, guess what you're going to say? Hey, when I talked to you a couple of months ago, you said, you know, your number one goal this year is to, you know, lose 10 pounds or whatever it may be. How are you doing with your weight loss? Get them again to talk about their goals, their dreams what's important to them, what they're excited about. And when we're doing that, not only are they talking about it and feeling good about it, but we're doing something to their psyche. We're implanting a thought, a feeling, a connection, an emotion that this person genuinely cares. This person took the time to listen to what it is that I'm up to. And this person actually remembered what it is that I'm up to. And then we take that a step further. We say, well, is there anything that I can do to help you reach that goal? What do you want them to do? You want them to help you take your business to the next level, right? That's what you want them to do. 
So we do that by helping them first. So depending on what their goal is, some goals you can help them with, some goals you cannot help them with. The people who have the goals that you can help them with, I want you to contribute. So now what do we do? We activate law number one, which is the law of contribution. We activate law number one, which is the law of contribution. See, I want you to be always thinking, how can I contribute to this person? Whether they're ever gonna do a transaction with me or not. Because it doesn't matter if they ever do a transaction with you or not. What matters more is building that relationship to where they can refer you to someone that they know that can do a transaction with you sometime in the near or later part of the future. It don't matter. What we wanna do is we wanna give, we wanna give, we wanna give value, we wanna add value, we wanna contribute. So we activate the law of contribution. Now, by activating the law of contribution, in essence, when we actually do contribute, we're activating law number two. Law number two is the law of obligation because there is a human tendency, common human behavior that cannot be argued, is that when one gives, the person on the receiving end feels obligated to give back. They feel obligated to give back. So they start to look for ways of how they could repay you for the contribution that you've already given them. And some people may be thinking, well, Shady, isn't that a little bit of shady? It's not shady. It's shady if the intention is wrong. But our intention is to give, add value, contribute, and make a difference with no expectation in return. But as a result of that, we activate the law of obligation and people do give back. So here's what I want you to do. If you're listening to this on the podcast, I want you to listen to it again. If you're watching a video, I want you to watch it again. I want you to take notes on everything I just said, or simply go to shaddybazzy.com and you know we'll put this in the show notes on, on exactly what it is that you should do. And I want you to follow these steps, ASAP. And I would love for you to get through this like literally in the next seven to 10 days. And after you do that, I want you to come back and leave me a comment and let me know what kind of results you received. So just to recap, call everyone in your database. Wish them a happy new year. Um, find out what it is that they're up to. See if you could help them out, etc. Further the relationship forward. Do not ask for business. Some people may ask you how's business. Then you can enter the business conversation, but keep it mellow and keep it cool and keep building onto that relationship that's what I want you to do. Activate the law of contribution, activate the law of obligation, and win big in 2018. And this is a wrap for the first episode in 2018. I'll see you all soon.